Welcome to the ACES High Help and Support series of videos. In this video, we will be discussing how to configure your joystick, throttle, and or rudder pedals to make the most of them in the game. Taking some time to configure your sticks can make the game so much more enjoyable. ACES High has the most comprehensive device support of any game in the genre. We will cover it in two videos. This video will discuss the mapping of the various inputs and another video will discuss advanced programming techniques the game offers. There is a lot to cover, so let's get started. If you have not installed the game, please do so and return here after it is successfully installed. I am going to assume you have sticks connected to your computer and that they are recognized by Windows. If this is not the case, make sure that is done and then return here. Now start the game and select the Offline Practice option from the main menu. Any configuration need to be done for ACES High can all be done offline. Important to note as you do not want to waste your free trial time doing this online. Once you are in the tower, bring up the clipboard if it is not up. Use the escape key to bring the clipboard up and to put it away. From the menu at the bottom portion of the clipboard, select Options. From the next menu, select Controls. Before you start mapping the stick and configuring it, you should calibrate it in the game. Select the Calibrate Joystick option. A panel will appear, as shown in the video, requesting you to move your stick controls through the entire range of motion. This includes the stick itself, throttles, sliders, and so on. Basically, if it is not a button or a switch, move it through its full range of motions. Once you have done that, select the OK button. Now you may want to pause the video while you are doing this, and then unpause it when you are ready to continue. You should now be able to select the map control options from the clipboard. This reveals a panel with quite a bit of information on it. At the top right is the Select Controller drop-down list. Here is where you select the controller you want to work with. ACES High supports up to eight unique USB connected controllers. Next option down is the Mode Selection drop-down list. ACES High allows you to set different commands for up to four modes. Using the Switch Mode commands allows you to program up to four commands per input for your device. Also, the game will, by default, switch modes depending on if you are launching a plane or a vehicle. When checked, the next option, Auto Select Mode at Start of Flight, allows the game to automatically select the stick program modes based on what you are piloting. If you select a plane, the game will select Mode 1. If you select a vehicle or boat, the game will select Mode 2 for you. If you leave this option checked, be sure to check the control mapping for both Mode 1 and Mode 2. If you do not like this behavior, just simply uncheck the option. You can change it anytime you like. The next section is the controller input list. This is the list of inputs as supplied from your device. If the input has a range of motion, also called analog, then a set of numbers and parentheses will be shown next to the input name. These numbers represent the raw data being sent from that particular input. In the column to the right of the controller input list are the associated commands to those inputs. The heading will change based on which mode you have selected. If the command is labeled as not assigned, then the input to the left will do nothing in the game. Up in the upper left hand corner are three buttons. The top default map button is handy when you first bring a joystick up or change a joystick. When it is pressed, it sets the current input device as the default or primary device and attempts to do some control input mapping as well. You can also use this button to reset the joystick back to its defaults if you get into a mode where you cannot or do not feel that the damage you've done can be undone. Now for the astute, you will notice we have not covered the advanced checkbox yet. Don't worry, we will get to it in a while. The three analog inputs which we have highlighted are the three basic flight controls of a stick and the commands that should be mapped to them. If you wish to map everything yourself, then this is where you start. The Y-axis should always have the analog's input pitch elevator assigned to it. The X-axis should always have the analog input's roll ailerons assigned to it. The Z-rotation should always have the analog input's yaw rudder assigned to it. Taking note, Z-Rotation may not be applicable if your stick does not a twisty stick. If you have a different type of rudder, it may be applied differently. The rest of the mapping can be left entirely up to you. Oh, how do you map commands? Well, that's a good question. I guess that's why we're here. Let's walk through the mapping of the throttle, for instance. 
Typically, the game will not assign the throttle as joysticks never identify which analog input is the throttle. First, find your device input in the list for the throttle. If you are unsure which one it is, then slowly move the throttle on your device and watch the numbers in parentheses for each analog input to see which numbers are changing, corresponding to the motion you are applying to the throttle. Pause the video if you need to. Now that you have located the axis, click on it using your mouse in order to highlight it as shown in the video. Using your mouse, click on the Modify button. A command box will pop up with an alphabetically sorted list of analog commands available. Using your mouse, scroll down to the Throttle 1 command, click on it, and then press the OK button. When the dialog box closes, you will see Throttle 1 command is now associated with the analog input you selected. It is that simple. It's even easier for buttons. Let's program a button. To see what is programmed to your stick buttons, simply press the button. Notice how the game will display the button you pressed. Now find which one has nothing assigned to it. And now let's assign the Weapon Select Secondary command to that button. This command allows you to select your active secondary weapon in your plane, vehicle, or boat. Double click the button on the stick and the command dialog box will open up. Notice there is a difference from before. You cannot select any analog commands, but instead now you can select from a various group of commands. Go ahead and select Global, if it is not selected. Scroll to the very last command in the list. Now click on Weapon Select Secondary. Click the OK button, and you are done. The command is mapped to the button. Use the above procedures to map the rest of the inputs any way you like. This now concludes how to get your input device up and running in the game and basic command mapping. Now remember the advanced option box? We will cover that in a separate video. We hope this video has proven beneficial to helping you get the most of your input device.